Last tonight, Minister in the Presidency, uh, Jackson Mtembu. You are quoted generously on Twitter. <laughs> Do you want to go there? No, no, no. Not, not, don't worry, they quote our many things, but they, they have this big quote that says, we have learned something, you know, from the fifth parliament about how we were found defending Jacob Zuma and so on, and yeah. we have learned our lesson now. At the heart of that defense of Jacob Zuma was the public protector's report. There was a committee that was set up, and that committee largely just was just defending Zuma. That, that's all it did, really. But we can have a debate about that. That's not my question. My question is, can you say to me straight in the eye, we have learned something about how differently and better to deal with public protectors' recommendations or rather remedial actions? Yes. What have we learned? Take them for review. That's what we have learned. You, you, Not you... implement them. If, if indeed, yeah. you see, it's in the architecture of mm. our jurisprudence mm. that if you are of the view and uh, again, the Constitution gives you that liberty. Yeah. Including the Public Protectors Act mm. gives you that liberty. That's why Sis Tuli, my mm. was saying to us, hey, Matot, if you don't agree with my uh, findings, yeah. go to court. Take them For on review. review. Yeah. Now, that's what we have learned. She taught us. Is that all we have learned? Amongst other things. What else? Secondly, you know, by the way, the, the, some parties, let me not mention names. Yeah. Some parties have been on a war footing since, 20, since the fifth parliament yeah. and the sixth parliament, saying to us in parliament, particularly the ANC caucus, let's remove the public protect. Mm -hmm. We have said no. From last year, from the time when the public protector came in, mm. and their arguments were that, but uh, she has been found wanting in courts. Yes. Now, our argument has been very simple. If a lower, if a higher court finds that a lower court erred, should we remove the magistrate or the judge? <laughs> mm. Now, of course, we, we, we are not saying that it must be habitual yeah. for us or any person in the public protector for their findings to be struck down by a court of law. Yeah. If it becomes habitual, it becomes a problem for all of us. Yeah, but, but that's the argument they are making, that, that not only is it about it's it being habitual, but it's also about the, the substance of the critique the substantive critique is not said, oh, you just got it wrong here and there. There's a, a judgment that was uh, questioning her integrity and her intentions. That's serious. That's why, uh, if you listen to the president earlier this evening, he's, he's basically saying that this whole thing now puts a cloud over both the, his office and the office of the public protector. We, we agree. And, and that's why we are using the mechanism yeah. that both the Public Protectors Act makes available to anybody, including the president, yeah. who feels that, yo, I think the findings are not steeped in law. Yeah. Or they are not in keeping with the Constitution. Yeah. If you are of such a view, then take the route that yeah. the Public Protector Act and even our Constitution says you must take. And that's why we agree with the president. Yeah. that uh, these findings of the public protector on the president should be taken on judicial review. What do you think uh, of, of what people are saying about the fact that uh, before the cabinet was uh, announced, right, the public protector found, uh, uh, made adverse finding against uh, 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 Minister Godan, and the president, regardless of those findings, right, went ahead to appoint him. Do, do you think that there is an argument to be made that in keeping with taking those institutions like Section 9 uh, uh, public protector institutions uh, seriously, that the president should have taken a step back until uh, 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 Minister Godan clears his name? Why was it so gung-ho that he appoints him nevertheless? 
despite a big finding of the public protector against him. You can, while you are at it, tell me why he went to court last Wednesday to join public, uh, to, to join Godan. In summary, I know it's a long case, but you can give me a, 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 a you know, a, a sound bite as, a, as someone who's in charge of government propaganda. But you, you will know that there was that uh, finding by the public protector. Mm. And immediately after that finding, mm. uh, Comrade Pravin Godan took that finding for a judicial review. Yes. And even interdicted that finding. Okay. Yes. Now, as a president faced with such... And again, you, you'll also know, by the way, that some of us who serve at the behest of the president yes. will also confide in the president, mm. will also tell the president that, by the way, this and this and this that is said about me, I can assure you, I can even give you evidence. Yeah. Long before I'm even in court, mm. that what is being said about me uh, is not based on fact and truth. Yes. Now, I'm not the president. If he, I, I, okay, I, I can also do you a favor. He does the appointing and does the disappointing. disappointing. I can ask him to come and answer the question because he's the one who appointed, I didn't appoint. Yeah. But I'm saying if you were the president and you have a person who just on the eve when you're supposed to appoint a cabinet, yeah. all of a sudden there is a finding. A, re a report. A yeah. report. But that report didn't say he is not appointable. Mm. Let's first start there. He said he must be disciplined. He must be disciplined. Yeah. Um, another party, not, not, uh, not uh, the public protector, another party, you know the party, it wears things like this one, <laughs> the colors like this one. Is that party that said he is unappointable? Yeah. Now, Unga Suger Mdanagam Kweban. Mdanagam Kweban never said, don't appoint yeah. Pravin Koda. All she said was, take action. Yeah. But how could the president take action when already the person who's accused of whatever wrongdoing yeah. is taking the matter, taking on, the matter review. on review? I, I think, but is even, that, is even that, if I'm not the yeah. president, yeah. Uh, but I'm, is that not I'm, let's suppose it was you. Yeah. Would you take action? <laughs> On somebody who's taking the matter. Remember, on my, my question was why was it important for him to go ahead and appoint? He was not obliged to appoint. He could have said, clear your name first. I, I'm, I'm back to my first question about whether you believe, right, that from the optics point of view, in terms of what we want to, to the message you want to send about this being a new administration, not an administration of, 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 of obfuscating, of always giving excuses, of, 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 going against exactly the things that you are trying to resolve by putting the Integrity Commission. Because the Integrity Commission is not a court. Of course. It's an Integrity Commission. We agree. Right? So the, the, all I'm asking you is, do you think, right, if, uh, we, without worrying about the legalists now, right, that we, 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 there seems to be a, a, a range of things that are happening in the new dawn that send the message of the old dawn? I, I, I wouldn't agree with you. Mm. Um, let, let, let's look at the people involved. Yeah. I, I can assure you, outside of what we have now talked about, of a new dawn and all other things, yeah. the people involved in the rest of their history, even through their own struggling credentials, mm. at no stage were they found to be on the wrong side of our people. That's okay. first nothing. At no stage. Whether you talk of uh, Praveen, uh, uh, whether you talk of uh, Ramaphosa, yeah. at no stage. Let's leave that one. Come to something else. You know, you had many people who took uh, Praveen on through a fight back mechanism. Mm. because of what he did in our SOEs. Mm. Now, who sent him there? The president. The president said, go and clean up those SOEs. Go and clean up ESCOM. Go and clean up uh, SAA. All those state-owned entities. 
in particular one that was very challenged is the one that is owing a lot even now over 420 billion mm. esco and in cleaning up uh, these entities yeah. of course he stepped on people's toes yeah. you know for a fact that there are many who said that uh, in fact he was anti-black professionals yeah now i can assure you if i am removed from office because i have wronged the office or i've acted in a manner that is not befitting to the office my blackness doesn't count anything in fact i must be more embarrassed that i have done so being a cadre of the movement yeah. who should have protected the office i hold if i am removed from the office and somebody cry foul that because I'm black, I should not have been removed. It's an insult to black professionals. Yeah. I think there was a, a, there was a completely uh, different discussion. I had the uh, president of the BMF yeah. who cried foul about the fact that the Minister Pravin intervened in an internal process at Mango Airlines to get a white male with no metric, right, to end up as a CEO of that entity. They even had to change the ad that was uh, making metric not to be a qualifier. Yeah. So I don't think that that, that story, right, helps his situation, but we'll talk about that after the break. After the break, I want us to now go into some of the issues that were raised during the presidency's budget vote, so you can tell me a little bit about what you are planning. But before we do that, I want you to tell me straight in my face, right, and whether the country, the, the country must believe, right, that the CR17 campaign that raised over half a billion rand, right, the president had no idea who gave him that money. We'll talk about that straight after the break.